Right, hello everybody, just a quick intro to this game that I've just played a little bit earlier on chess.com. Managed to win this one with an 81.9 accuracy, my opponent's 73. And they're both pretty good scores for the level that we play at. My overall average in all games is about 76, so it's a fair bit lower than this. If I could average that every game, I would be doing better and gaining rating points. You can see we've both got a couple of great moves. Lots of decent moves, a few blunders each, mistakes, inaccuracies, as you would expect at the level we're playing at. But I'm going to start this one right near the end of the analysis here. And then I'll go through the whole game and then I will then add the game on as I actually played it in real time. But I thought the computer is basically trying to turn itself into a comedian with this one. Um, my opponent actually finds the right move here in this position. And then I thought I found a really, really good move here. I thought this should be a great move at the level that we're playing at. I played bishop up here to c6 and see what the computer says. Curious move, maybe not exactly what the position demands, but an interesting idea. I thought this was a really great move and I should be winning my opponent's queen pretty much whatever happens. But no, the computer says I should have actually just played knight to f8 and seen this instead. I'll explain why in a second. Um, but in this position, I... When I looked at it, I thought, if you play a queen takes bishop, I've got knight to come into two different squares with a discovered check and I'm winning the queen. You can't go on either of the any of the dark squares with the queen um, because the knight already covers them. And if you go to either of the two light squares, I can either go to e5 or to e7, again with the same discovered check, so I'm winning my opponent's queen. And if you play queen takes knight, I just drop the bishop back, pinning the queen, and I've won the queen for two minor pieces um well up on time as well the clocks are fairly similar at this position and i should be winning the game so i thought that was a really really good move and then the computer turns it into a joke as you can see there really quite funny the computer says i should have actually played knight to f8 as you can see i'll flick through the moves here it does actually lead to winning the queen as well i think as long as it plays through correctly but if you click show the moves it'll play through what it says you should have done you just take the pawn there, pin the piece, and then wait for the queen to take and pin it. I mean, how can you see that at amateur level? I mean, that's just crazy, isn't it? That's just crazy. If I play these moves manually, I wouldn't have seen that. So in this position, it does say that my opponent played an excellent move there. It's saying I should do this. The king goes there. I give a check. Uh, sorry, I don't give a check. If I give a check there, which is like the human move, you simply take a piece and I'm going to be completely stuck here, aren't I? So in this position, I should just simply grab a pawn and then I'm thinking, right, how do I possibly convert this? You don't expect that you're just going to take there and go there, do you? Okay, black's completely bogged down, but how do I convert this? It says plus 2.9, so I can't understand that. I find that baffling. Whereas I thought I found a really, really great move here. After this, bishop up and the queen is trapped. Now I thought that's a really good way to finish the game. So I'll now go back and I'll flick through the whole entire game with the analyzer. It is really useful to look at this though, because obviously you can look at these moves and you can see where the you know the true elite players that would spot the correct way to play these positions, even in the short time controls. But you can see that. I thought that was a really great move and the computer doesn't say that it is. So we'll flick through the game. Uh, sorry, go back to the very beginning. And you see it's a fairly balanced game it's pretty even i'm doing okay but i'm the one who blunders first in the game my opponent comes up with their great moves first before i do so it's all fairly balanced so i'm making some mistakes here but you can see c5 there is a great move by my opponent so it's gone back to zeros now i was slightly up then there's a blunder there, taken back. And in this position, I make a blunder here. Now, the, what the computer shares, this is why it's really, really useful to look at the analyzer, is the correct move is just to play a queen here, pinning the knight from the side. And you can maybe defend, and I can then double up afterwards, and you're pinned, and black is completely bogged down. But it's still only like a 1.7, so at the level we're playing at, not going to be completely decisive, but that's what I should have done which is why it's useful if you flick through the games like this. So go back to the review. See so here, I've blundered h5. My opponent quite correctly sees why with their second great move. Um, so I've lost an exchange as well. And then 
My opponent makes one mistake here and I've suddenly managed to turn the game around after this mistake and win it with what I thought, like I said earlier, was bishop up at the end trapping the queen. So from this moment on, I've somehow managed to turn it round. And here, there's my first great move with the pin here. The idea is, of course, you're unleashing the bishop as well. But again, at our level, still not a formality to convert. You can see it's still zeros on the analysis bar. And my opponent blunders there, allowing knight takes pawn and just plays it slightly incorrectly here and that's when I've played the bishop up here and as you can see curious move maybe not exactly what the position demands but an interesting idea how is that not a great move at the level we're playing at how is that not a great move I don't understand that as I've already said and then I've just managed to calmly finish the position of my opponent resigned here I've been spent a lot of time thinking ran the clock down okay it's queen against two pieces but now I'm up on the clock as well so should be an easy conversion so now I will actually add the game on as I actually played it in real time well, it's 1989 good luck I'm going a little bit too slow in openings I think so I'm gonna have to tweak my pace a bit here let's hit the queen and he goes back I think I can push up then threaten to push now, do I allow some nonsense? No, I'm just going to take and push, I think. Um, again, if he takes to loosen the pawn, I can take with the queen or the bishop, I guess, and the rook's under attack. Otherwise, I'm coming across and maybe knight up. Actually, let's chuck the pawn up first. I might get a chance to move and discover on the um, bishop at some point. I doubt it, but it might be possible. It's a bold move, knight in takes up. I'm just going to play across here and hit these two. I'll pre move in case he takes. He might take and then try and grab the B pawn. Oh, he goes inner, goes for the inner pawn. I guess we just take and try and double up then. So we hit the knight, see where he ends up. Can I go forward here? I don't see why not. If he takes, I can take the queen and the rook guards the rook as well. So we're just hitting the knight and pressuring the pawn. Now if the knight moves, can I go here and almost trap his queen, but he's got an emergency square. He's got the emergency square. So if I take across, take, take, could be a mistake. Take, interesting, but... Yeah, if he takes, I can still take with a queen. And now I've gone and blundered the fork, everything. Didn't even see that, wow. I simply didn't even see it, so that's another game gone. Just play your rook across, I can't keep it, and... Okay, I have to gambit here. Actually, if he takes here first, I can take. But yeah, this has to be a loss, doesn't it, now? Let's go up, take and hit the pawn. Okay, let's hit the pawn again. He's just going to be a tiny bit careful with what he does. So I've got the bishop coming in as well. He's just going to be a little bit careful and he should win the game. Now, can I take, take and pin the queen? It's possible to miss that. It is technically possible to miss that. So let's take. He's obviously seen it because he would have maybe taken back. But now I'm suddenly threatening to fork two piece. I'm threatening a nasty discovery. Maybe even a checkmate. Check. King there. Queen check takes. I don't have the follow up right now. So right now I think he's fine. I need the bishop behind instead of in front. So check. Check he has to go there. Hold on, I've got bishop upright. If he takes, I still come back. If he takes, I check. So he's maybe going to go there, then I can check anywhere. Hmm. If he goes there, I can check anywhere. I think I've trapped his queen. I might be wrong, but I think I have. It'd be a very nice finish if I have. Let's assume I actually convert the game, of course. 
The Queen looks trapped. But he's got to watch the clock as well. He's just got to gamble and watch the clock. And trust I can't checkmate him and then play on. Okay, so we pin the Queen. So yeah, at least if he takes, I take with a check. So now I can grab a pawn as well. And that's a check as well. So I guess I just go here and maybe queen up depending on what he does. I mean he can kind of defend it but I should be fine to run up the board now. So that's a very good win, very good.